Alonso. It's magic. I'm like the David Blaine of tools. psycho right now. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Maybe you guys have a tool guy in your life that seems like he's got just about everything that you can possibly imagine and there's nothing that you can get him that would make him happy, because that's what my wife says about me. Well, don't worry, because I got a whole list of tools that your guy will love. But what are we waiting for? Let's go check out the latest and greatest tools that Santa's gonna deliver to the tool man in your life. Or outdoor enthusiast, period. Ho, ho, ho. One of the things your guy will for sure love is a pressure washer, but not just any pressure washer. This is the manliest of pressure washers that is made. Guys don't like them little tiny ones that you can plug in and they go Ee. This is a beast. The difference between this and that is this one, when you crank it all the way up, will slice through a two by four. So this one is actually by steel and it's the RB800 and the pressure is a completely adjustable, will go up to 44 or 4200 PSI. Now if you have a guy that has decks to clean or surfaces to clean, pick him up one of these rotary surface cleaners. If he's never used one before, this guy's is a game changer. And there's one other thing that I'm gonna recommend you also pick him up, and that is this nozzle right here. It's Santa really likes this 3.0 multi-function nozzle because it has six spray patterns. You can literally just uh, change the spray pattern by dialing it on the bottom. You combine all three of these things and he doesn't need anything else except for maybe a Ferrari to wash it with. So that's the Steel RB800. Let's get on to the next one. Let's head inside and see what else we got next. That's fly tape, guys. I actually hung it right in the middle of the hallway because I'm trying to get my wife to walk by and catch it in her hair. I know that sounds cruel, but it's kind of fun. The problem is, is she left it up knowing that I am more than likely to get it caught on my hair. She's actually right. I've already twice smacked this thing right into my face walking by. But that's not why we're here. This is why we're inside, guys. This is the Igloo Trailmate. Now this is a 70 quart cooler. Let me show you some of the things about this cooler that make it pretty cool. Shut up. So this one, guys, I actually got for my son-in-law, Jake, because he's a big outdoor enthusiast. Right here, if you guys can't see it, right there, this little line is designed to hold your electronic devices. It also has four built-in cup holders. Plus, on the back of this, it's got these portable cup holders, so like you can stick your Dixie cups in here. Big, giant, oversized tires. This is a 70-quart cooler made by Igloo. You guys know the Igloo brand name. It's a brand name that I like, I support. You flip it open, it's got what they call a butler tray, and this thing slides on the front of this handle, slips right in here. You can set your dry food here, your cold food here. It's got a separate bin to store your fruits, veggies, and anything you don't want wet and in the ice. And then up top right here, it's also got a separate pocket to keep sandwiches or anything that you don't need inside the cooler. This thing is a beauty. Trailmate by Igloo. Love the company, love this cooler, and I hope my son-in-law likes it as much as I do, because if he doesn't, I'm just gonna take it back and keep it for myself. I'll give him a set of slippers or something if you want it. Okay, on this next one, you guys may be thinking that the 1920s called. 
and want their technology back. And you're actually maybe kind of right, but if you guys, there may be guys that love mowing their lawn, cutting their grass, but they don't like dealing with gas, trying to get it started, winterizing it, and dealing with all of that. Well, Fiskars has what's called a real mower. You guys have heard of it before, but this isn't the real mower from the 1920s because those don't ever work. Watch how easy this one rolls. This one is a one-fingered roll. No motor to start, no gas, no fumes. When you're done mowing the lawn, you come in, you smell like fresh cut grass. You don't smell like gasoline. And Fiskars is a company that I really, really admire for a number of reasons. Number one, if you ever break this or any Fiskars tool, even something like a demolition hammer or a splitting mall or anything, they'll return it, no questions asked. A company that does that is a company that I believe has your back. Watch how easy this adjusts up and down. Boop. This is probably one of the easiest adjustments I've seen. For a mower without a motor, this is the way to go. Made by a company that actually cares about their people. I think you guys are gonna like this next one. It's made by Flags of Valor. Check this beauty out. This is a wood flag. These, these flags are made in America by veterans. A lot of them are com combat disabled. In fact, the owner of this company started it after he did eight I need two hands for that one. Eight consecutive tours. Made in America means something, guys. And look at the beauty of this flag. Pure wood. Every part of this flag was done by hand by veterans. Flags of valor. Go support these guys. A company like that doesn't get more awesome, guys. Wow. Check it out. This one's signed by the guys that made it. Look at this, U.S. Air Force. Oh man, look at all of these signatures, you guys. I support them, I hope you guys will too. God bless America, God bless our vets, God bless the guys and gals out there fighting to keep us free. you guys battery powered tools from five years ago are nothing like they are today they're not even the same as they were from three years ago and eagle has been a leader all the way along and you got to be a leader if you're going to take on trying to make a battery powered snowblower because nothing sucks more power than that here's your fuel here's your motor here's everything right here and these bad boys these recharge in a matter of 20, 30 minutes. I went from completely dead to being uh, fully charged in less than a half an hour. You've got your battery gauge, green means go on the top. You pop these in, you have an adjustable chute. Your chute adjusts from the handle right here. You simply click this button right here, pull back. And boom, you're in power. All right, they say it'll throw 35 feet. Let's go see if that's real. Best part about this thing, just hit a button and you start it up again. Santa needs some hot cocoa. All right, you guys, let's see what kind of crazy gifts Santa's got hiding upstairs. Guys, this next one is a game changer. Anybody that drives a car needs this thing. This whole thing is an air compressor. Yep, all of it. Made by Milwaukee Tools. 
This little bad boy will fill up your tire just like you went to a gas station, but you can pop it in the trunk of your car. You could probably pop this thing in your glove box and it runs off the same battery platform as all the M12 other Milwaukee tools. Let me show you how this works. You turn this sucker on, you then program how much air do you want in your tire? 10, 15, 20 pounds. Let's see, what do I got? I got it on nine pounds. And then you hit the go button. Is that freaking cool or what? You know how Santa gets all them presents to all the good kids' houses? It's the Milwaukee Packout System, but they have hard and soft packs, and they also have a backpack. But seriously, the Milwaukee Packout System is really cool for the tool guy that doesn't do all his work at home, but he actually goes out to people's job sites, and he wants one simple, easy way to bring everything to them. The Packout is like a dolly on wheels, but it organizes all your tools from big to little. And it's a game changer for the guy that goes out to product. All right, guys, do you like to have tunes inside your workshop when you're working? But one of the pet peeves is you got the radio over there and somehow you manage to start working over there and you can barely hear it or you got to turn it all the way up. Or maybe you just want to have better stereo sound. Well, Gear Wrench makes these little bad boys that are completely interconnectable. Meaning when you Bluetooth connect to one of these portable speakers, you can also Bluetooth connect to another one of these. You might even be able to do more of them. That means basically you can put one of these speakers over on that side of your garage and you can put the other speaker over on that side of your garage and have stereophonic sound connected right up to one phone system. And you see me throw them? It's because they're really, they're tough, they're built for guys like us. I'll do this to my own stuff so that you guys know if you accidentally just drop it, it's safe. I'm not doing this to be purposefully negligent. I just want to demonstrate how tough these are. Now this also can connect into a wall so you can have AC power or it has a battery in it as well. And plus, this is also connectable to FM radio. Small package, you can hook multiple units up and get big sound out of these babies right here. Plus it makes a great stocking stuff. Looks like the FedEx guys also bring treats and presents. So what do you got today? Anything fun? Oh, you know we don't. All right, another fun. <laughs> you do. Okay, so maybe you have a mechanic in your life, and if you do, he's going to love this next tool set. It's actually by Crescent. It's the people that make Crescent wrenches, and it's called a pass-through adjustable wrench set. Boom. And the way this thing works is let's say you've got a bolt and you got a nut and you need to get this nut all the way down on this bolt. Now you can put it on, but a standard socket is only going to get you so far because then you hit the back wall of it. When you have a pass through set, the socket will actually pass all the way through. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Here's your socket, pop it on, and now once we tighten this up, you will see it pass through. I'm like the David Blaine of tools. It's magic. Come on. Come on, here we go. It's starting to pass through. You can see it right there. See it passing through? So you can see that this system allows the socket to pass right through. Now this is your typical crescent wrench. You can still wrench on it this way if you want to, but you can use the socket and it's interchangeable. They have a whole bunch of different sizes for them. And not only will it tighten, but it'll take that right back off. So let's do that now. Do, 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 do. I really hope this doesn't swing off and crack my camera. If it does, I'm going to cry. That's like a $2,000 camera. And of course, with my luck, it would do that. All right, let's see how we, oh, there we go. Pretty slick, and it actually works really well, really smooth. So if you got a mechanic in your life, he's going to appreciate it. This would make a really good stocking stuffer. Boop, boop, 
Boop, boop, boodle doodle doo doo. Ta da! Take the halls with boughs of holly. Okay, guys, this next one is a game changer, and I'm seriously really excited about it that I've actually put this in other videos, but just in case you haven't seen it, it is literally one of my favorite things of all time, and it's called the Tri Light. These are nothing more than a light, but it is powering, three of these right now are powering this entire garage, and I used to have nine floodlights in here. I installed three of these alien looking things, and that's all I needed. So I went from 700 watts in this garage, and no, I went from 900 watts in this garage, down to 74 watts because of these things. These are by Stryker Corporation, the Tri-Light, and basically it's a light. I've never been more excited about a stupid light, but look at this thing. You can aim each light head, and it throws off 3,000 lumens when just using 74 watts. Is that right? God, that seems pretty wild. On this next one, we gotta go to Santa's other workshop to check it out. Hey guys, I actually wanna show you a little bit what I close up for what I mean. Here's the workbench running three 100 watt light bulbs. You can see the light coverage we get. Take these out. I'm just gonna put one of these alien looking striker lights in. One of these gives me better light coverage than all three 100 watt bulbs put together. So for the last, ouch! Santa's gotta clean his garage better. This next one is past the test of time, which is a crucial test to me, and that's 3M work tunes. Now you guys have known that I've used 3M work tunes, but here's how I got involved with them in the beginning. They contacted me and said that they wanted to shoot a video out on one of my jobs. I thought this was just gonna be a YouTube video, but they were willing to pay me for it. And I'm thinking, you suckers. I already get paid to mow this account. You guys are gonna pay me to shoot a video while I get paid to mow this account? Ka-ching, ka-ching. I had no clue that they were actually gonna put me on the box of their stuff, which is I thought was pretty cool. But I kinda got to be friends with the engineers at 3M while they were shooting it, and they sent me some 3M work tunes to test out. And then they sent me some more, and 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 some more. And basically what they've been doing over the last 12 months is continually working on improving that. A couple of the things that I like is I love it going over the ears because I don't like crap inserted into my ear holes. I just don't like stuff inserted into my ear holes. The only thing I wish is that the volume would go up a little bit more on them. And I also wish that they played FM radio, but I am working with them and I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you guys have used these, what do you like and what don't you like about them both? And then 3M will probably watch the video and listen to you guys. Yeah. So what else, what other cool toys do we got? Right here, you guys. This baby right here, it's small, powerful, but if you have someone in your life that loves four wheelers, loves going out into the woods, you're gonna wanna get them one of these little teeny tiny bad boys. And this is actually a top off saw or a chainsaw by Makita, battery powered. Put her in. This little sucker will fit right on a four-wheeler. The guy's going out on trail cutting or whatever he wants to do. He wants a chainsaw. He doesn't want to dick around again with gas and fuel and worrying about it started. Can make sure that just... Come on. Santa's got this. Just grabs a fresh battery. Pops it in. Probably looks psycho right now. Seriously, you guys, uh, on trails, this is what I like to bring. Small, light, portable, easy to handle. Pop this out, zip, zip. You're in business going down the road and you don't got a big, lunky chainsaw like one of these lopping around on your four-wheeler with you. So if you got a guy that likes four-wheeling, likes being out in the woods, get him one of these little teeny tiny suckers and he'll like you. 
All right, you guys, let's shut this one down and head to the upper workshop. I got one last one up there. It's a goodie. That's my wife's Mrs. Claus's artwork. Okay. We're currently just using this for storage, but one of the things we're storing in here is one of my favorites. Well, I got a lot of favorites. I still like this one a lot. All right, now this is a really cool system, you guys. This one is made by DeWalt, and it's a dual powered, meaning it can be corded or cordless. It's a sliding compound miter saw, and the magic happens right here. This is where the cord comes into play, and you can slide this baby in, plug it into a wall, and you're in business. But let's say you don't have power, you get out onto one of those job sites where you gotta work remotely, you pull that sucker off, and you can take two battery packs, plug it into the back, No power, no problem. A pretty cool system. It's made DeWalt tough, DeWalt quality, flex volt, 120 volt max, dual power sliding compound miter saw. Say that five times real fast. Okay guys. Hey, we'll that bootleg box in by yourself. Yeah. Hey, can you go check that box out okay, for me, Frankie? Huh? Go check that box out. Do you want me to open it or what? Yeah. I got that, it in my myself. You did? Thank you. See that DeWalt one, Frankie? That's your Christmas present. Okay. Frankie is a man of few words. Did you hear me, Frankie? I you. That's your Christmas present. Awesome, Stan. <laughs> I don't say much. <laughs> I don't think Frankie likes gifts, guys. I'm, 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 are you feeling weird, Frankie? Yeah, I don't ever get gifts. What's that? Because I don't ever get gifts. Shut up, Lucy. God darn coon hound. You said you never get gifts? I don't really get gifts, no. All right, well, there you go. Now you got one. Yeah, I appreciate it. You gotta let me make a video of it because uh, some of these guys out here are gonna be looking at this unit. And the reason I like this unit in particular is because it has all the benefits of a cord or and yeah. cordless, right? Wow, I've never seen one. First, first one I've ever seen. Oh, 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 you're sick of hearing that. I am a freeze baby. And I do not want to go in my garage any more than I have to. And this is one of those tools that I keep literally right by the door. So when I open it up, I can reach out, grab it, and go. Now I got a brand new set because my old set is missing a lot of pieces because I've used the heck out of it. And this is made by Bosch. This is a Phillips head, square head, plus a T25, T20, T30, T40 head set with magnetic bit drivers. This is something that Mr. Claus fights with Mrs. Claus over a lot. Cause she's always grabbing this thing, using the bits and then never putting them away. Hence, I had to get a new one so I could show you guys this set. This makes a great stocking stuffer and it's so convenient and fast that this is gonna be one of those go-to things that you're gonna be grabbing a lot more often than you really probably think you would. Once you get one, you know you just can't live without it. So that wraps up our best tools to get for the guy that has everything video. And I know there's a lot of suggestions and things that you guys are thinking are awesome gifts. I wanna hear about it. Put it in the comments down below. What are some of the best gifts that you've gotten? Because, I mean, what the heck, why not list them off? We've got tons of stuff out there. And I'd love to hear what you guys love getting. One last thing, you guys, do me a favor and check out these videos right here. Right there, guys. God bless you guys. Go get them, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. I had to get one last one in there. <laughs>